Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy and I help people with their breakups. And today we have an interesting story from a man that is Indian or from India. I'm not sure which country he's living in currently, but he's with a white woman, his words, and he's having trouble telling his parents because uh, Indian culture is, I, I guess you'd call it strict. Um, actually, there's a really good documentary called Meeting the Patels. And I'm sure this guy's watched that. Um, and it talks about the same exact situation where this, this individual, he's Indian, he lives in America. He's uh, been dating a white woman that he likes quite a bit or loves. And he can't deal with the fact that uh, his parents would like him to marry an Indian woman. And so he goes on this mission to meet the Indian woman, ends up coming back to his original white girlfriend because that's who he really loves. But I don't know if that's the case in this breakup because I didn't read it all the way through. But let's just get right into it. So I was with my ex for two and a half years. We lived together for two years. I was her first boyfriend and she was my first true love. Well, isn't that nice? Good for you. She cared about me. She loved me. She would do anything for me. Well, she's doing everything right, it sounds like. We had this one constant fight about me not telling my parents about her because they are traditional Indian parents and she was white or Caucasian. So it's not a small thing. I mean, if she really loves you, you were together two and a half years, she loved me, she cared about me, that's a big fucking deal that you didn't introduce her to your parents. I mean, I understand your reasons. I'm not in your culture. I'm not in your shoes. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. A lot of people just, we all have our own values that were baked in when we were a kid. And we have our own values from life experiences, from university, from jobs. And I'm not sitting in your shoes. But from the outside in, I'm going, you got to make a decision one way or the other. You, she, you know, are you choosing, could your, like in that, that documentary, Meeting the Patels, at, at some point the parents go, all right, and they accept it. So do you think at some point your parents would accept it? Or they're going to tell you they wouldn't, but if the push came to shove, are they going to disown you because you're dating someone white that loves and cares about you and treats you really well? It's a chance you might want to take. She finally gave up and ended things. The breakup wasn't bad. She cried and said, it has to happen. After the breakup, I was... So heartbroken that I told my parents about her. See, you could have told them anyways. The relationship in Indian families is really close to their parents. You guys have a very tight knit family, um, and I, I think that's I think that's a good thing. But I, I noticed in the in the stories I've gotten, and I've done a couple live coachings with people that actually live in India, and there some of them are really scared about the judgment their parents will give. But they, their parents love them with all their heart. So I think at some point, if you're not doing something really, really wrong, you might be surprised that your parents might come around. Two weeks after the breakup, how much she means to me and how I was so too scared to tell them, and that's why I lost her. I informed her, I told them, but it didn't change anything. See, the thing is, is once someone makes a decision, especially a strong person, they make the decision and then, they, and then you give in, it's... It's not that it's just too late. They're already dug in. They're already, well, I'm not just going to go back on my decision. Oh, you told him now? That changes everything. You didn't introduce her or bring her to the dinner table. And I don't want to say too little too late because I didn't read the rest of the story. So let's, let's see what else happens because every situation is different. That's why you got to write your own story. I texted her saying I will change and that I love and miss her so much not knowing that precisely what you are not supposed to do. Well, I mean, in this particular case, there's a clear-cut reason of why you broke up. It's, it's clear as day. And it wasn't the relationship. It was one thing. And you you definitely do have to show her that that one thing can be fixed or that one thing can be addressed but she's not going to come around right away and just go oh yeah that's that's fine okay now now everything's fine it's not the movies she kept telling me she was hurt and sad and doesn't know how to process all of it basically her breaking up with you is more difficult than you think so sometimes people think oh she dumped me or she broke up with me 
they're hurting too. She cared about you. That was a tough decision to make. And it, it pushed you into a crisis mode and put you in the starting gate of what really means a lot to you. So it worked. But on the flip side, she's going, wait a minute. Do I want to be with someone that I have to break up with to get the message across? That's how she's thinking. Finally, one day she told me to stop contacting her altogether. We are currently on a three on week three of no contact. Well, probably you were getting anno annoying, needy, and clingy, and it wasn't in your nature. And anytime you get annoying and clingy and pushy, it's highly unattractive. I talk about it all the time. I realized that most of the fights we had were because of the parents, and she was scared she wouldn't be accept accepted by them. So it created some insecurities in herself also. No matter how small the argument was, it ended up back to that one thing. I love her like crazy and miss her. She knows that. She knows that. Now leave it, leave it right now. Leave it be. My friend texted her a few days about asking if she would consider giving me another chance. Do not get your friend involved. Do not get your friend involved. No. No. I, I mean, that's also annoying. Okay? And it puts her on the spot. If your friend's going to call up and go, oh, so-and-so wanted to get his stuff or something like that, but you shouldn't get your friends involved as a third party. Um, it's just a no-no. She replied, the further, the further out of the relationship I am, the more I realize how unhealthy it was. I just don't think it was ever going to truly work, which is why I finally walked away. Since the breakup, I changed a lot. We always do. I mean, this is crisis puts you in the starting gate of a new beginning, a new birth. This is mostly because I don't have the stress of worrying my parents wouldn't like her. My dad keeps asking me if we are back together because he saw how much I truly do love her. Do you think she will come back? At this point, no. Uh, if you give it some time and space, possibly. Because this relationship was, by all means, what you've told me, a good one, a solid one. And the only problem you've addressed, you've realized, you've fixed. So you still need to give it time. You can't have her friend calling up. You can't be pushy about it. You can actually reach out to her in a month or a few weeks you, with no expectations of getting back together. Here's, here's the part that I go through a lot with people. You're not going to get back to where you were before the breakup. Erase that. And that's where everyone wants to get. Oh, let's just get back together. No. It's got to be reestablished. And, and if you're going to go back to her and talk to her, you're going to go back to her with low expectations. You still care about her, but you're just going to get coffee or dinner or lunch or whatever you want to do or whatever you have to do. You're not going to use any uh, tricky tactics of you with another woman on Facebook in this particular case. You're just going to say, hey, uh, how, how have you been? Did you want to get uh, dinner or something like that? And if she says no, fine. Leave it alone. Give it some time and space. And then it's her job to miss you and realize she knows at this point that you have confronted your parents and that you stepped up, right? She knows that. She needs to process it, her words. Respect that. Listen to her. So like I said, you can't, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but in like two or three weeks, you can call her, see how she's doing, and ask her out. If you're in a place where you're not going to be needy, pushy, and trying to get to the relationship that you were at at that two and a half year mark, you're at a point now where you're in a different place, okay? If you went out, you need to go out and you need to be neutral. You need to be loose. You need to be calm. You need to be looking at it like when you first dated her. Low expectations. You're not going to just get back together when you meet her. If you can't go into it that way, do not approach her. The other end of that, stay in no contact. Realize that she knows that you love and miss her. Now she has to feel like she loves and misses you. And to do that, she has to feel like, wow, he really did stop contacting me. Three weeks is pretty good. So congratulations on that. My dad keeps asking me if we were back together because he saw how much I truly do love her. Do you think she will come back? Okay. I just answered that question. Or do you think it's done for good? I, you know what? At this point, I don't, you don't want to jump to conclusions. Oh, it's done for good. Work on yourself, go to the gym, whatever spiritual practice you have, do that. Go to your job every day, get your work done. And realize this, you just learned something that's going to be valuable beyond this relationship. That your parents love you a lot, and if you meet another woman in the future or this one comes back, they will accept it. That's what it sounds like to me. So you learned a very valuable lesson in this. 
Any input would help. Thank you so much. Okay, that's my input right there. I hope that helps you. If you'd like to talk further, if you're having a lot of trouble as far as um, moving forward, consider a live coaching and you can you know, get everything out and we can talk further about where you're headed and where you want to go moving forward with your life. Don't get stuck in the past. You've addressed the problem very clearly. You've done your best to realize that it wasn't as big a problem as you thought. So there was some, some growth right there, which is great. Now I would continue to be in no contact for a, a, a period of time. Okay? Hope that helps. Anyone else out there, please visit rightmacdom, right, rightmac.com if you have a breakup story to tell. Thank you.